My name is Vicky Butt and I am an MRC summer student. My job is to analyse the data for the Worm Watch Lab project. So here's a worm on agar. The red dot in the middle is where the vulva is positioned in the worm and the egg appears near the red dot. So users on Worm Watch will usually press Z when they see an egg being laid. So in a second, an egg will be laid right now. There you go, an egg is being laid, and this is where you press Z. So here is the first example of an unusual worm. On the right you can see a small worm approaching the large worm, and as it hits the worm, the egg is laid. This mutation in particular affects its mode control, and this could be possibly be linked to the egg laying behaviour, as you can see. So lots of eggs are being laid simultaneously. And there you go, there are some more. So this is a challenge for Wormwatch because when users see this video, they press Z multiple times and it's very hard to, to distinguish how many eggs there are. But this is really interesting because this worm shows a unique worm behaviour. Here is another video with an unusual scenario. Some users on the discussion board on Wormwatch have commented on this video saying this particular worm has a tentacle. In fact, this is just a young worm that's hatched from an egg laid previously. So usually the egg is laid and deposited and the worm leaves the egg while it moves away. In this scenario, the egg is attached to the worm. Lots of users are tempted to press Z, mistaking this for an egg being laid, when in fact the egg has actually been present from the beginning of the video. So here is a very fast moving worm, and this is where the computer software is very useful to keep up with the worm. As you can see, the computer software tracks where the worm is going to, and the camera shifts accordingly. So here is my favourite video, and this is a great example of an uncoordinated worm. So as you can see, as the worm curls up, the lines on the worm disappear, and this is because the tracker cannot detect the worm when the worm is curled up. 